Hello, and welcome to this week's special segment on Nico Replay. I'm Dan Brinker, and today we have a special guest, Mr. Brady, an accomplished runner and student teacher here at Nico Valley. How's it going? It's good, Danny. So you're an all-American runner, coach of the men's cross-country team, and you ran a marathon. How did you get started running? Um, I was in middle school, and I was actually in PE, and uh, we run the mile once a week, and then my PE teacher was like, hey, you should think about going out for cross-country because you're pretty good, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll do it, and did it ever since sixth grade, so it's been fun. So you ran cross-country at Wheaton Warrenville South, and then you ran at North Central College, so how have you improved significantly as a runner from high school to college? I think probably the biggest transition was the mileage because when I was in high school we probably did about 50 to 60 miles a week or maybe a little less. And then once I got to college I really decided to fully commit myself and we were running anywhere up to 100 or 110 miles a week and doing all the little things like core club and push-ups and eating right and everything. So I think just the combination of doing that for um, so many years just really adds up and really carries over. So you helped contribute to North Central's Triple Crown. What was that like in college? Oh, it was great, especially because last year we won nationals in cross country, indoors and outdoor track. So just kind of pictured a better way to go out for my senior year because we really won a national title all throughout college. So to finally get three of them my senior year was really, really great experience, really fun to be around. So a couple weeks ago, you ran your first marathon in Chicago. How did that go? It went all right. It was definitely a different race because, I mean, it's 26 miles, so definitely very long and uh, some different factors come into play, but overall it was pretty good. So I was a little under 2.30 for my time, but it's definitely a long race. It felt like you were racing forever, so it was fun, though. So how does training for a marathon differ from training through a cross-country race? Um, I think you just do a lot less speed work and kind of more mileage. Like over the summer, I was doing up to probably 125 miles a week for, for some of the summer. So. Just doing that in like a little, not, not so fast, because for a five mile race you need more lake speed than for obviously a marathon if you're going 26 miles. So just kind of more of that long slow mileage and uh, kind of more stuff at marathon pace rather than, rather than quicker stuff that you need for the five mile run. Yep. So running a marathon, winning multiple national championships, what has been your biggest highlight in your running career? Um, it's tough. Besides my senior, probably the cross country national championship just because a few years before that, we, uh, we really wanted it since my freshman year, and we got 13th my freshman year, 16th my sophomore year, and finally second my junior year, but we really still wanted to win, so that's been our goal since we got to North Central, so to finally get that first one and really enjoy it with everybody, I think that's probably the, the thing I most remember from North Central, or just my running in general. Mm -hmm. So you won the 5,000 meter indoor and the 10,000 meter outdoor track, finished 21st at Cross Country National Championship. How do you manage these expectations and pressures going into these races? Um, I mean, I think you get used to it for a while. Another thing, it always helped to have your teammates there because it, all those, I at least had some teammates in the race or kind of helping me along. So just having those other people and knowing you're racing for the team rather than out there for yourself, I think it really does help you to kind of tap into that team energy and just kind of really, really use your teammates to help you get through the races. So what do you attribute from your rise to a good high school runner to an all-American collegiate runner? Um, probably apart from the training, I'd say the team atmosphere. Just because in college when you get there, especially North Central, there's so many people there who want to be good, who want to be great, who really want to work hard. So just having all those 10, 15 guys who are really working as hard as they can to kind of help you along the way can really make a huge difference. Even though you've accomplished so much already, Moving into your future, what are your goals and expectations for your running career? Um, I want to, but I guess the long term goal is to qualify for the Olympic trials in the marathon. So, and that would be in two January from now, so early, early 2012. So probably my next marathon will be in June in Minnesota. So hopefully there I'll get, a, get another try and try and qualify for the Olympic trials there. Awesome. Well, good luck with it. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Brady. And good luck in your future in running. Thanks, Dan. All right, for Nico Replay, I'm Dan Brinker.